What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to a brand new video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to download and install Fabric MC or the Fabric Mod Pack for Minecraft 1.17.1. Fabric MC is just like Forge. It allows you to load and use multiple mods in your Minecraft client, though it does require a bit more setup than Forge. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and begin. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Fabric MC's website. Upon heading to this link, all you need to do is click Download Installer Windows EXE on the right hand side and click on it to open it up when it's done downloading. When you see this window over here, make sure to select Minecraft version 1.17.1 from the drop down list over here. After doing so, you can leave Loader version as the latest version and everything else as is. Making sure the Create Profile is on, simply click Install. Then you'll see a pop-up like this. Fabric Loader has been successfully installed. Many mods also require you to put Fabric API into the Mods folder. Click Fabric API here to open up a new link in your browser. Otherwise, if you close out of it, you'll find the link down in the description below. Fabric API. All you need to do when you get to this page is scroll down and on the right hand side, look for Minecraft 1.17. Then we'll be downloading the version with the green R, meaning release, not beta or alpha, by clicking the download button to the right hand side of it. So Minecraft 1.17.1 Fabric API. Download. After a couple of seconds, a file will then be downloaded to our computer. Navigating to my downloads folder, here's the file. What I'm gonna do is select it and right click, cut it, or use Control X. Then we'll be pasting this in my Minecraft mods folder. If you don't already have one, don't worry. At the very top, click here and type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. Then we'll be opening up the .minecraft folder and we'll open up the mods folder. If you don't see a mods folder, click a new folder at the very top or hit Control Shift and N and then type in M-O-D-S, no capitals, mods. Open it up and paste the file that we just cut it in here, or move it in from your downloads folder, the Fabric API, etc. 1.17.jar. Upon doing so, we've now successfully completely installed Fabric and we're able to play it. I'll go ahead and open up the normal Minecraft launcher, and you should already see that it's been selected Fabric Loader 1.17.1. However, if you don't see this anywhere on the list, click Installations at the very top and make sure that modded is ticked on the right hand side. Then click new installation, we'll give it a name, fabric. And from the version selector, we'll look for version 1.17.1. .1. Then right next to it, you should see release fabric loader, etc. 1.17.1. .1. Select this and then click create in the bottom right to create another version for fabric. I of course won't be using this as I already have fabric loader here. Select it, click play, and if prompted, click yes that you understand it's modded and play once again. Eventually, you'll be dropped into the main menu and as you can see, Minecraft 1.17.1 slash fabric brackets modded. We're now running Minecraft fabric and we're able to install more mods by dropping them into that mods folder. Though, do make sure that you're downloading fabric mods rather than forge mods as they're not cross compatible. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!